What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about episode four of the Acolyte. But before we do get into that, remember, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in on everything Star Wars. Don't forget to, if you are enjoying the content here, make sure to hit that super button so we get some donations as we are fast approaching 5,000 subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Now, in the Acolyte episode four, Jedi Master So reports to Vanestra and other masters at the Jedi Temple on Coruscant, confirming May's escape as seen at the end of the Acolyte episode 2. Now, he also voices his suspicions that she was likely trained by a rogue Jedi or Splinter Order, something which draws justified concern from the gathered Jedi. During this scene, one of the assembled Jedi masters is none other than a younger Kai Adi Mundi, a future member of the Jedi Council as seen in the prequel trilogy and the Clone Wars animated series. While cameos are nothing new to Star Wars projects, he also was certainly the last Jedi I expected to see in the Acolyte. I will be honest with you guys, because I was definitely thinking more of Yoda, especially with him being very much involved during the High Republic in the comics and in the novels. Now, he was a prominent role and member of the Jedi Council during the prequel era, and it's a real surprise to see him appear in the Acolyte, I have to say. Looking at the online reaction as well, definitely not surprised to see other people and other fans confused to see him a part of this show. Now, some are particularly shocked because they believe that his age has been changed. And this, of course, is based on a cursory of Wikipedia, which reveals that he shouldn't have been born at this point in time, let alone be a high ranking adult Jedi. Now, the problem, though, is that this information is taken from Star Wars Legends. Now, back in 2014, Disney wiped the old expanded universe from canon, meaning it's no longer binding. Finding. Now, there's no canon information about how long his species will live, but that the date of birth isn't really all that relevant. Now, clearly, his species are a longer lived race in the Disney era than in Legends. Now, this would be the smallest imaginable change to lore given the age of a background member of the Jedi Council isn't really a big alteration. Now, this still does make the decision to include him pretty eyebrow raising and that's particularly the case given Leslie Headland insisted there wouldn't be any real cameos in the Acolyte and largely because she wanted to tell a story where the stakes were high and anyone could die. My guess though is the change to his character's age was made deliberately and that the Acolyte is intending to tell a broader story that he is definitely included in, especially with this Sith Lord character in the Acolyte. But guys, let it up in the comment section down below. Were you expecting his character to come up in the Acolyte and does it really make sense? And also, would you have rather had Yoda because he has been very much prominent in the High Republic. And I think for me, his character would have made a lot more sense. But overall, guys, let me know in the comment section. Make sure to hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell. And I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.